Hello, this is Ray Murder from ACG, and welcome to this edition of The Hot Seat. Joining me today is Priya from Lenovo. Priya, thanks for joining The Hot Seat. Thank you, Ray. I think this is your first time. It does indeed. Good, good. Well, get ready to sweat because we get right to the point. Now, a lot of people, you know, Lenovo has a global brand, right? But mm -hmm. primarily is in the PC side of the business and some of the server. I don't think people are as familiar, including myself, on the networking space. Could you maybe just start by talking a little bit about Lenovo and the networking uh, products and stuff? Lenovo focuses primarily in the data center networking area. Since the year 2000, our products have been deployed under different brand names. So if you think about Altion, Blade Networks, Nortel, IBM, we have been around for a while. We have deployed close to 20 million ports. Well, that's impressive, I tell you. I forgot about the evolution of that, of those acquisitions. Good yeah. point. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So Lenovo plays in access and aggregation in networking. Uh, we have switches that range from 1 gig all the way to 100 gig, and they have layer 2 and layer 3 capabilities. Mm -hmm. And we also have switches for le uh, leaf and spine deployments. If you look at the customer base, the range varies from small businesses with one to two switch deployments, all the way to really large service providers around the world. Right. Good. Now, um, I mean, this is great because I literally forgot about this. I mentioned those, but what are some of the benefits that some of your customers are seeing in this? Lenovo offers standalone switches, all the way to tested and validated solutions. So it's the whole whole ensemble. Customers can get their compute, storage, and networking from Lenovo. We become the one-stop shop for all their data center needs. Lenovo also works better together with our compute and storage. We mm -hmm. offer simplified management. Mm -hmm. Lenovo's operating system is built from the ground up for the modern data center, so it scales easily for the east-west traffic. Right. And then we offer the lowest total cost of ownership in the industry. Excellent. Now, um, you mentioned data center. I mean, you can't talk about networking without talking about data center. I mean, what are some of those um, type of solutions and how do you integrate into the data center properly with some of those products? You know what, Priya? Why don't we go to the uh, whiteboard instead and maybe you could elaborate a little bit further. You want to do that? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, let's do that. Our products are designed to work in heterogeneous environment. In fact, third-party study shows that our products are truly interoperable with other leading vendors. A study conducted by Tully proves this. What I have here is an example of a typical data center architecture to show where Lenovo could fit in. You could have Lenovo here as a top-of-the-rack switch, or you could use this for aggregation. You could have switch from different vendors here and one from Lenovo here, or the other way around where you have uh, Lenovo here and a different vendor here. You could also mix and match. This results in great cost benefits for the customer. In addition to that, we also have switches that fit in leaf and spine modes. For example, I have 25 gig and 100 gig switch here that could be a possible spine leaf deployment. What do you think, Ray? No, I mean, I think this is good because I, I think showing these layers that is open on either part of layer is very important. I get those questions all the time. I would be remiss if I don't talk about cloud. What we find is that hybrid cloud seems to be the most common approach for mid and large size enterprises. And there are three care abouts. One is workload. And as workloads migrate more and more to the cloud, customers need products that offer high throughput and low latency. Lenovo switches provide this. As an example, TV2 Media Group in Europe uses switches to live stream sports to their customers. The second thing that comes up frequently is cost. Many managed service providers use Lenovo to build their infrastructure to offer quality services to their customer. Examples include Avalon or MD Link. What we also find is that some of these service providers have been able to cut costs significantly by using our infrastructure, like Brate Krapan. The third thing that I frequently hear when customers talk about cloud is, am I future-proof? hey, who wants to change their infrastructure every few months or every few years? What we offer is tested and validated architecture. We offer anything from standalone switch to a fully integrated solution. We have solutions for cloud. We have solutions for big data, high-performance computing. Our switches have been tested with VMware, Microsoft Azure, and Nutanix. In fact, we have our own network orchestrator, which works very well with Nutanix and makes it very easy to migrate VLANs. 
As an example, Federal Hill Communications uses our switches along with Amazon's S3 to offer premium services to their customers. And this is like one of the many ways that we offer support for our customers as they migrate to the cloud and deal with the myriad of things available there. Well, that was an excellent whiteboard. Maybe uh, we can close with Robert uh, Haynes on our team. You know, he's in charge of the business case analysis group. He did a very detailed TCO for the Lenovo networking products. And according to him, he found some of the lowest TCOs in the industry. Are you able to elaborate a little bit further on that? Absolutely, Ray. One of mm -hmm. the things that we pride ourselves on is pricing our products competitively. Mm -hmm. So our switches are very competitively priced. From a software perspective, all the features are included in our um, uh, in our package. We don't mm -hmm. necessarily charge extra for special features like some of our competitors do. Everything comes included. Mm -hmm. And if you look at services, we offer three-year services as a standard with all our data center class products. The industry norm is to offer one-year services for uh, uh, for the data center class of products. In addition to that, the power consumption on our products is uh, low. So when you factor all these in, customers save upfront in the capital expenses mm -hmm. and also ongoing operational expenses. And what Robert and your team found is that we could save up to 111%, customers get up to 111% ROI on, uh, wow. on our products. And operating expenses can be reduced from anywhere from 24 to 50%. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. Well, you're officially off the hot seat. Thank you, Ray. That wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Are you sweating? <laughs> Good. Well, you're officially off the hot seat. With Priya, this is Ray Moda. Thanks for joining this edition of the hot seat. Thank you.